fact that I was going to be the first American woman to go into space carried huge expectations along with it. And that was made pretty clear just the day that I was told I was selected to the crew because I was also taken up to Chris Kraft's office, who was the head of the Johnson Space Center, because he wanted to have a little chat with me and make sure that I knew what I was getting into before I um, agreed to be on the crew. <laughs> but I was so dazzled just by the opportunity to be on the crew and go into space that I really don't remember very much of what he, what he said. On launch day, there was so much excitement and so much happening around us in the crew quarters, even on the way to the launch pad, going up the launch pad, you know, looking up and seeing, you know, this huge, you know, rocket that kind of sounds like an animal. You can kind of hear the gurgling and the hissing and, you know, it sounds like it's alive. I spent an enormous amount of effort just trying to stay focused. Try to, you know, I tried to block out pretty much everything that was going on around me and just kind of put one foot in front of the other because it would have been way too easy to just be lost in the in the moment. I didn't really think about it that much at the time um, because I just wanted to get the opportunity to do that. But I've, uh, I came to appreciate what an honor it was to be selected to be the, the first woman to get a chance to go into space.